So Brentford zero, Arsenal one, and that was not free. Uh, that was extremely ugly, if we're being completely honest. Squad depth, they all cried. Yeah, we're seeing Jorginho, El Nemi, Eddie, Havertz, Cedric Suarez in big 2023, soon to be 2024. Uh, before we get into the uh, the nitty gritty of the game, make sure you are smashing the like button into next year. That'd be great. Big up to everybody who watched the watch along and the cup draw. Uh, we have drawn West Ham. Uh, so another local trip, uh, not having to travel miles and miles away, especially when we've got, I think we've got Newcastle and Sheffield United either side. Uh, I may be wrong. We might have, a, uh, might have a Champions League game. I may be wrong, but either way, Either way, um, yeah, nice little West Ham away, uh, although it's not going to be an easy game. And um, West Ham are there fully looking for their next trophy, David Moyes FC and that. Uh, but make sure you are leaving your comments down below, sub to Lee Reacts. I'll have some content out on there real soon um, in the next coming days as well. Maybe Friday I'll do a watch along. Depends what my plans are. Uh, don't forget as well, uh, tomorrow I will be live at 1 p.m. UK time with Saeed. Northside and flawless on this channel. Um, but anyway, uh, let's get into this. Uh, let's get into this game. Uh, Kai Havertz, I'm starting with you straight away, mate. Yeah, I'm absolutely sick to death of seeing this geezer walking around the football pitch hiding. Go back and watch the game. I said this the other day after the PSV game. Go back and watch the game and don't follow the ball. Follow Kai Havertz. The amount of times he was sheeping the referee, literally right behind the ref, hiding behind the ref. What are you doing? I'll bet you won his jewels. I want to read this out real quick. Because I'm sick to death of this PR for this guy. Yeah, I'm absolutely up to ear with it. I'm sick and tired of it. Yeah, it is a disgrace. Absolute disgrace. But anyway, listen to this. One of the puppet journalists, one of these puppet journalists, <laughs> Visibility limit. This post may have violated X's rules against abuse. Oh, how unlucky James Bench cried that I, that I called him a muppet. Anyway, Havertz has already made two headed clearances in his own penalty area and a nice interception. It's not necessarily what you'd be looking out for from him, but against a big team like Brentford, it's really helping. I put, what the actual F is this nonsense? He's awful. Walking around like he's, uh, like he's lost his skittles. How much is the club paying you, James? Furthermore, when did Brentford last win a major honour about big team? Muppet. Yeah, that's, uh, that's obviously clearly visibility limited. This post may violate X's rules on abuse. Oh, James Bench is crying. Waster. Yeah, I'm sick of the hype around this guy. I'm sick of the protection for this guy. Are these lots sponsored by Durex? Like, real talk, are they sponsored by Durex? Where was this for Nicola Pepe? I don't get it. Go and watch that game back and just follow Kai Havertz. Even if he goes out of camera, you know roughly where he is and he'll come back in the shot. Just go and watch him. He jogs around. He'll go and stand between four players so he can't get the ball. He'll win a couple of headers. Oh, he won his duels. Oh, off the ball, he's amazing, which is why I've started Kai Havertz watch. But he ain't the only one. Eddie and Ketia. Oh, but he's got work rate. He's got work rate. My man is nicking a hundred grand a week out of this football club, and you lot are waffling about work rate. I'd expect him to have work rate for a hundred grand a week. What's the guy do? Oh, but he got an assist. Really? Why ain't he shooting from there, by the way? Seven yards out. Why is he not shooting? Instead, he passes the ball to Reese. Big up Reese. Nice finish. But it was easier to shoot on target from you having the ball than it was to play a pass to Reese Nelson, who was being closed down. And luckily, the guy slid straight past Reese and Reese scores. Why didn't you shoot? What are you doing? I watch him and I just think, mate, the only reason this guy is at this football club is because this fan base on mass online, yeah, not all of them, but on mass, decided to go. Oh, because he put his arm on the corner flag and give it, call me, call me. Yeah, scoring against Chelsea. Five goals at the end of that season. It took us from fourth to fifth, by the way. Good one. This lot all got giddy and then said, yeah, do you know what? Give him, oh, give him a go. Then they're all sitting online 
taking the mick out of Balogun for missing two penalties in a game against um, whoever they were playing. Monaco were playing the other day. Where's your energy for this guy? Where is your energy for this guy? Lacazette have worked great. What's the difference? Oh, Lacazette actually could score goals. More than this guy. Yeah, it worked great. Better than this guy. Oh, but we won the game. Just be happy. This is the problem with these people. We're just top. Just be happy. We won the game. Just be happy. We've got squad depth. Just be happy. Now they're all crying about six players out injured. Why are you hyping up a win to nine out of ten then? Yeah, I'm sick to death of it. The yeah, best player on the park tonight for me was Gabriel Magalash, closely followed by, and you could put him either way. You could put him either way. It wouldn't look out of place. Closely followed by Tommy Asu. Big up to them. Big up to them. Yeah, big up to them. Tommy Asu was quality tonight, and so was Gabriel. And on another night, if Brentford had Ivan Tony on the pitch, that would have been 5-1. On another night, it would have been 5-1 if they could finish their dinner anyway. What did we do? Reese hits the post. Whoopee. Kai Havertz has a, a shot that he cuts back in on his right. He's never going to score. Aimless ball after ball into the... Oh, just jogging around. This is dead. But don't worry. Just be happy. Oh, by the way, have you all said happy birthday to Granite? Happy birthday, Granite. What is going on at this football club? I am sick of this crap. Happy birthday, Granite. Cedric Suarez comes on the pitch tonight. Oh, by the way, just very quickly, when was the last time Real Madrid said happy birthday to a past or present footballer and tagged them in Twitter? Can somebody tell me when that was? Feliz cumpleaños, Steve McManaman. R9, Guti, so on and so forth. Roberto Carlos. I, I don't see this. We, we, we had this lot and we smashed the stadium down to be like that lot. I'm going to sneeze. Bear with me. It's coming on. I can feel it tingling. Maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, come when I'm about to speak. Here we go. No. Nope. Anyway. Anyway. Let's move on. Let's move on. Cedric Suarez on the pitch tonight. Yeah. Why? <coughs> Bear with me. Yeah. Smash the like button while I get some tissue. Cedric Suarez on the pitch tonight. Why? Absolutely disgusting. 2023. 2023. Embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. Right. I'm now back. Apologies about that, people. But you didn't want to see Buga all over your screen. Uh, but anyway, Cedric Suarez. Uh, who's looking after the win? Because Cedric Suarez was teaching win Portuguese. I thought he was the Portuguese teacher of the dog. So he's playing tonight. So who's looking after win? Cheers, guys. This club's a disgrace. Yeah, that guy tried to throw that game tonight. Martin Odegaard probably completed more passes tonight than he did in the whole of the North London derby. Wouldn't it be difficult, though? He only needed to complete 19. Because he only completed 18 in the North London derby. And people want me to rate this guy. Gabriel Jesus didn't do hardly anything when he came on. Oh, he put Eddie through and what? Yeah, we're playing Brentford. With all due respect, we should be beating Brentford. Yeah. Oh, but Lee, you said you'd take scruffy 1-0 wins if it, if it, okay, cool. Now go and win the competition then. Go and win it. Go and win that competition. Yeah, win that competition. Fair play. I'll hold my hands up and say, well done. Trophy's a trophy. I love the trophies. That's what it's about. That's why we smashed the stadium down that these legends behind me, Lee Gunner Bingo, were playing in. Yeah? Sick of it. Man City have gone out tonight. Everyone's sitting there laughing. Yeah, hey, Man City are out. Uh, yeah, last time they got knocked out, maybe it was last year, and they won the treble. Yeah, they're probably the only team in the league that can get knocked out of a cup. Swap players around, albeit they did have... Harlem never came on tonight, but they had some good players on the pitch. They're probably the only club in the league Yeah, that bigger fish to fry because we ain't got bigger fish to fry we're winning another bruv yeah we are getting top four if we're lucky and if we do get top four this fan base will cheer it oh back in the champions league yeah absolutely embarrassing gutless fan base gutless fans gutless manager he looked lost tonight by the way the manager yeah, he looked lost it was almost like the yeah the realism's kicking in Mohamed El Nenny oh, by the way Mohamed El Nenny did more than Havertz tonight and he was on the pitch 15 20 minutes yeah, that sums up how dead that guy's performance was. Absolutely disgusting. Disgusting from him and Eddie and Ketia. But this is the squad depth that I've been told is great. 
Yeah, big up Reese. He took his goal well. Should have scored the second one. Oh, but Kai passed it to him. Kai was aiming for Eddie, mate. Yeah, go and watch Kai Havertz again. This guy, yeah, this manager's going to live and die on that hill. And trust me, he ain't living. It's crazy. Actually crazy. We're out of here. Kenny's coming next. Adios. Ciao.